Hi, my Head Start friends. I miss you very much. I thought today we could do a little science experiment. So first, I'm going to show you the things that you need to do this fun activity. So you need a spoon or something to stir with, two of them. I have popsicle sticks. And then you need food coloring. I have red and I have blue. You also need two pieces of paper towel and three glasses or cups that you can see through with water in them. So the first thing we're going to do is add some food coloring to our water. I'm going to do the red first. I think we should put five drops in. So help me count. One, two, three, four, and five. Make sure you put your top back on. Okay, now I'm going to use one of my popsicle sticks and I'm going to stir it. Make sure it's all mixed in there really well. Now I'm gonna set this one over here. Now I'm going to take my next glass of water and that one is going to stay clear and I'm going to put it right next to my red one. And then my third glass of water, I'm going to add some blue food coloring. Let's do five drops again. We're going to count backwards this time. So let's start at five, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to use my other clean popsicle stick and I'm going to stir this one. See, now I'm going to take my blue water and set it on the other side of my clear water. So I have red, clear, and blue. So next, we're going to take the paper towel and we're going to fold them like a hot dog this way two times. One. Too. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to fold it in half. I already did the other one. So now we have two of them. So the first one I'm going to take and put one end in the red water and one end in the clear water. And then I'm going to take my other one and put one end in the clear water and one end in the blue water. What do you think is going to happen? You can see already a little bit here. What's happening there? The water's starting to move up the paper towel. So what do you think will happen to this clear water? If you have any ideas, see if your adult can help you post your ideas in Class Dojo and I'll check them out. So for now, we just have to wait so we can watch. So I'm going to move it to the side and read a story and wait a little bit. I thought today we would read a fun story from the Pete the Cat storybook collection that I brought to you last week. So the one that I thought I would read today is called, oops, Pete the Cat Robo Pete. What a great sunny morning. Pete can't wait to play baseball with his friends. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Larry. I can't, says Larry. I'm going to the library. Do you want to play catch? Pete asks Callie. I was about to go for a bike ride, says Callie. 
Do you want to play catch? P asks John. I can't right now, says John. I have to paint the fence. Pete wishes his friends would do what he wants to do. It's no fun playing catch all by himself. If only I knew another me, Pete thinks. And like that, Pete has an idea. Pete builds a robot. He programs it to be just like him. Welcome to the world, Robo Pete, Pete says to the robot. You're my new best friend. We'll do everything together. And I want to play catch, says Pete. Great idea, says Robo Pete. Pete and Robo Pete play catch. Wow, says Pete running after the ball. You sure can throw far. Robo Pete throws farther and farther until time out, says Pete as he tries to catch his breath. Let's play something else. I want to play whatever you want to play, Robo Pete says proudly. How about we play hide and seek, says Pete. That will be fun, says Robo Pete. Pete finds the best hiding place ever. He's sure Robo Pete will never find him. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, shouts Robo Pete. Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha, shouts Robo Pete, tagging Pete. Hey, how did you find me, says Pete. With my homing device, says Robo Pete, I can find anyone, anywhere. Okay, enough hide and seek, says Pete. Let's play some guitar. Pete teaches Robo Pete how to play a song he made up. You have to feel the music, Pete explains. Okay, says Robo Pete. To feel it, I need to play loud, explains Robo Pete. Pete tries to stop Robo Pete, but Robo Pete can't hear him over the noise. This is fun, says Robo Pete. This is awful, says Pete the cat. Okay, says Robo Pete. Let's ride our skateboards instead. Before Pete can answer, Robo Pete's feet transform into a motorized skateboard with super speedy wheels. Let's go, Robo Pete shouts. Wait, calls Pete. Pete chases after Robo Pete. He has no idea where Robo Pete is going. Robo Pete crashes into the sandbox at the playground. Are you okay, Pete asks his robot. I'm a robot, I am indestructible, says Robo Pete. What is this strange place? It's a playground, says Pete. He waves to his friends. This is Robo Pete, Pete says to Callie, Larry, and John. I made him myself. Cool, says Larry. We're going to help finish painting, says Callie, and then we are going bike riding. I want to go on the slide, interrupts Robo Pete. Robo Pete, I want to help my friends paint the fence. Pete tells his robot. Paint the fence. That would be great, Robo Pete says. I am programmed to paint faster than anyone. Pete and his friends try to help, but Robo Pete paints too fast. So instead, they ride bikes and they read books. And after Robo Pete is done painting, they help him clean the brushes. Pete realizes that it doesn't matter what they do, just being with his friends is what makes it fun. All right, my friends, I will see you soon and I will post a picture of what happens to our little experiment. Bye.